hello my people yeah oh, welcome back to my youtube channel um this video tutorial i'll teach you guys how to make a jumpsuit so this is the fabric i'm using as you can see you are going to fold like one and a half inch on each other like this that you iron it that is going to be for the side that so from this point you will measure one and a half inch downward for the shoulder slanting so now you rule your line straight to get the shoulder slanting So don't forget that the folding decided that is going directly towards your bust point. So that is my bust point, which is nine and a half inches. This is my under bust, 13 and a half inches. I'm ruling the lines. That is the side that you're going to fold it on each other like that from that shoulder line I'm going to get my half length which is 16 inches I'm also going to rule the line so now I'll take my shoulder measurement which is 15 divided by 2 it's going to give me 7.5 inches then I'll make it 8 inches for the sewing allowance. That is my armhole. From that point, I'm measuring 7 inches. That is my armhole line. I'll connect them together. Now I am taking my bust measurement divided by 4 plus my 2 inches sewing allowance. The same thing goes to my under bust. Take my own round under bust measurement divided by 4 plus the 2 inches sewing allowance. The same thing applicable to the waistline too. My waist measurement plus the two inches sewing allowance. So I'm going to connect them together. So I'm going to curve my arm all circumference. So now I'm going to cut it out. As you can see, I'm cutting out my front bodies. That is the front bodies. So I'm marking out the neckline. I'm marking four inches from the boot side. So I'm going to give it a round curve. That is the front bodies. Now this is the back. To get the back, you are going to place the front bodies on the back on the remaining fabric to get your back. So I'm marking, that is 2 inches for the zip allowance. I'm marking one and a half inch for the back. Don't forget the back is always longer than the front. 
is one and a half inch higher than the front bodies so i'm giving the back a high neck a little bit higher than the front they're cutting out they're trimming out the back using the front bodies So after joining that is how it's going to lap on the front bodies. So now I'm taking my MO circumference measurement, which is 17, divided by two eight and a half inches. If it's not up to your arm all circumference measurement, you are going to trim out a little bit to get what you want. Now I think this one is giving me what I want. So that is where I'm going to start joining the bust from. So I'm opening the back for the zip allowance. So that is for the front bodies. Now I'm measuring 4 inches to determine where I'm going to put my dart. Front that and the back that you use your press distance measurement to determine where you're going to place your dart so the back that I'm sewing it up with 12 inches from the waistline so don't forget I'm going to have to that for the front bodies the front one and the side that to give me a bust cup. So to get the down part now, I'm going to show you guys how to take your crush measurements while making a jumpsuit. It's advisable to take your measurement like this from the waistline. Where your half length stops, you take your measurement from there around the crotch take it to the back to the same waistline at the back so anything you have there you are going to divide it by two I will show you how you are going to do that on your fabric but it's advisable to take your cross measurement like this when you are making a jumpsuit So I want to cut the down part now. So we are starting the full length of this is 58, 58 inches. The length of the jumpsuit is 58 inches. So you are going to remove the 16 inches half length from the 58 inches. So anything you have here is what you are going to use as the down part, which is the pants part. That is the full length plus the folding allowance. So now I'm going to measure 8 inches for the hip line, then 11 inches for the crotch line. Making a jumpsuit, the crotch line is always 11 inches. Then after cutting out, if you measure and it's not up to your crotch measurement, you are going to increase it. That is my hip line and my crotch line. So now the nail line, I'm going to get the nail line. Which is 20 inches from the waistline. I'm going to root the line like this. So on the length line, I'm going to measure two inches. Then the nail line, I will measure one and a half inch. Then I'm going to connect them together. I want to give the trouser the hip cuff. So 
to your join the line to your hip line then on the waistline you are going to measure one inch then you connect it back to your hip line so now I'm going to cut that off so this is what you are going to have after cutting it off as you can see you can see the hip the hip has come out so now I'm taking my waist measurement divide by 4 plus 2 inches the joining allowance I'm also taking my hip measurement divided by 4 plus the 2 inches joining allowance now I'm going to take my lap measurement on the crotch line then you're going to divide this by 2 I'm adding just 1 inch for the joining allowance then you're going to curve it to the waistline So on the down part, I'm going to measure 11 inches plus the joining allowance. I'm measuring 11 inches because it's going to be a palazzo jumpsuit. So take your ruler and connect it to the crotch line. This is what you're going to have. So after cutting it off, this is what you're going to have. This is the front part of the pant. Now I'm going to place this. On the remaining fabric to get the back bodies of the pant. So after placing it on the remaining fabric like this, from the crotch line you are going to measure one and a half inch. So the down part you measure half inch. Then you are going to connect them together. connect together like that then you measure one inch on the waistline from the other side the front part of the punch you are going to measure half inch downward to give the front a little slanting So after that you are going to cut it off. Then mind you this is a jumpsuit. It is not a pant trouser. So you are just going to measure one inch on that point. So that it won't be too high. You are going to rule the line. Then you are going to cut it off. So from that one and a half inch you measured, you are going to curve to intercept the front bodies. Then you cut it up like this. Then you are going to trim from that half inch to the one and a half inch you measured. So this other part you are going to trim it equal from the down part so when you get to the hip line you are going to go up straight to the one inch you measured then 
you're going to trim it out equal just like this so to the get where you are going to put it back that you are going to fold the back bodies into two equal part then you notch you are going to sew four inches downward for the back that that is the back bodies of the pant so now this is how you are going to check whether your crotch measurement is accurate or not You are going to measure around like this and see whether you are going to get what you measured. If it's not up to what you measured, then you are going to increase it down a little bit until you get what you are looking for. So the crotch I'm using is 26 inches. Which is what I have got from this one. So I don't need to trim anything off anymore. That is how you get your accurate crotch measurement while making the jumpsuit. So you can see if it's not enough, you can increase it a little bit. But I think I got what I'm looking for. So in case you might want to put a pocket, you are going to measure 2 inches on the waistline. You are going to notch it, then you measure 7 inches downward. That is going to be for the pocket. So that is that about the down part. The front bodies and the back bodies of the pants. So after turning the neck with lining, that is the upper part, you are going to turn it with lining. So I'm folding the side front. I'm folding the front for the side that I want to iron it very well so that I will be able to see clearly what I want to sew. That is for the side that on the front bodies. So you are going to fold like that, then you sew five inches in from the both side. Then that is the front that you iron it so that you see clearly it will enable easy sewing when you iron very well and it will be very neat i'm going to sew six inches upward directly towards the bust point you do the same thing on the back bodies, you fold it into two, you iron very well, twelve inches. You are going to sew it upward. You do the same thing on the both side of the body. So after when you might have done that, you are going to have this, then you iron very well again. Both in and out, you are going to iron it very well. The front side that and the front that has already created a bust cup for the jumpsuit. So even without making a bust cup, it won't be able to press down the bust. So I'm going to iron the bust part with that ball. You 
you are going to iron very well the both side so after that you fold into two as you can see you can see it has already formed the shape of bust cup already even without cutting a princess that it has already give you a bust cup that is how to make your side and front that look like a bust cup that is the front I am very well so now you need to do is join the upper part to the down part so this is the two piece of the front bodies the down part you are going to join them together After joining it together, you are going to place the upper part on it and you join them together. You are going to join the upper part of the jumpsuit with the down part. And you are doing the same thing, both front and back. So after one you might have joined this is what you are going to have. This is the two side front and that is the two side back sorry and this is the center front. This is the front bodies you place it on the back to mark where you are going to join for the zip allowance at the back. So you fold the front into two equal parts place it on the back bodies then you mark. That is where you are going to join for the back zip. So as you can see, that is where we are going to join. So after when you might have done that, you take your bust measurement, your waist measurement, and your hip measurement. So you are going to join the front bodies and the back bodies. Your hip measurement, you join it downward. So after when you might have done that, you've turned it down of the pant, join the both side. This is what you are going to have. Now you are done. That is the down part. As you can see, it's a palazzo jumpsuit. As you can see, that is the back bodies, the back view of the jumpsuit. You are going to fix the zip at the back. As you can see, you are done with your jumpsuit. It's an armless jumpsuit. This is the front view of it.